so the meltdown begins, and I got to say, it's a little bit different than I expected. There hasn't really been any riots. There's been a couple of protests, but I imagined America would be destroyed at this point. I don't think it's going to be as easy as the left is making it out to be. They're saying they're going to concede. They're saying that there's going to be a peaceful transfer of power, but there's still quite a bit of time until President Trump gets into the White House, and there's a lot that can happen until then. I'm still under the belief they're going to randomly see Joe Biden as unfit to serve in like a week or two and put Kamala in there. That way they can get her picture up on the wall, make history, and just screw the country up a little bit more before Trump gets in there. I truly hope I'm wrong, but I just don't really see it any other way. But why don't we go through some of these meltdowns because I think it's just kind of interesting the difference as far as the right and the left side of America in terms of how they handle loss. We get upset. We get pissed off, mainly. The other side just cries about it. And it doesn't matter if you're a man, a woman, a transgender. Am I allowed to say that? I don't know. Why don't we start with this guy? I honestly thought this was a joke. I really hope it is, to be honest with you. But as I watch further into the video, it's not a joke. This guy actually dresses like this. What the hell? You cannot be serious. How did I wake up to this garbage as my president? That's right, garbage. I went to bed last night and she was ahead. I woke up to this freaking nightmare. Donald Trump? How? How? Does America have this many Nazi Hitler following pieces of trash? I thought America was already great. Kamala was had our, our had our economy skyrocketing. People were people were happy. You could feel the joy in her campaign. And then all of a sudden it's just been been hijacked by these <laughs> You know, I'm just curious, why didn't you throw a shirt on before this whole thing? I mean it just seems a little weird. You got leopard glasses on and just rainbow stuff all over the place. But as funny as this is, this is the reality of America. These people think the way that they do because the media has demonized Trump for I don't know how long. And these people are not intelligent enough to say, okay, well, if there were people who were not white who were voting for Trump versus a black Indian woman, he probably isn't racist. His supporters probably largely aren't racist. I don't know, just a thought. But as much as I'd like to be sympathetic for these people, y'all need to start challenging what you hear. If you see MSNBC or CNN start talking crap about Trump, you need to do your own fact check. Does this legitimately make sense, or is this propaganda? Guys, this is incredible. We are the country who spends the most on pharmaceutical drugs, yet we are one of the most unhealthy countries in the world. How does that make any sense? Just to give y'all a little bit of perspective on this, there's a drug out there called atrazine, and they're testing it on frogs to turn them from male to female. They're turning them gay. Instead of working on, I don't know, a cure for cancer, that's what they're doing. And people are ignorant if they don't believe that chemicals like these are going into stuff that we eat and drink. And so I'm happy to announce a new product drop from Black Forest Supplements called Spermidine. Spermidine creates cellular cleanup and mitochondrial renewal. It delivers unmatched autophagy support and bioavailability to support cognitive function and energy production. So, it's a new product. I asked them to give y'all an awesome deal on it. They're giving y'all 40% off on it just for today. There's gonna be a link below the video. Go try it out. It's an amazing product. Moving on, we got another one that is just outrageously funny. <laughs> He went north, south, east, and west with his meltdown. I mean, what are, what are y'all so upset about that you can't just kill off babies as much as you want to now? The fact that there's not gonna be as much gun control, the fact that you're going to have cheaper fuel, not pay as much tax. Oh my God, get upset about it. And then we can't forget MSNBC, my God. They just can't take a loss. I mean, listen to what they say about Trump. We still have an electorate 
70 million plus that will be voting for a man who said he was going to assassinate for treason the chairman of the Joint Chiefs because he didn't support him on January the 6th, who has said just in the recent days he was going to execute Liz Cheney with a firing squad, nine guns pointed and shooting at her face, a man who has said that he was going to shut down CBS because he didn't like how they edited an interview, a man who said he was going to be a dictator from day one, a man who said he was going to terminate the Constitution, a man who said he was going to use the army and he was going to use the National Guard on his political ally, uh, opponents. Uh, I, I could, I literally could go on. I know you think you're really intelligent, smart, but you're not going to argue with the popular vote of America. You're not going to sit there and tell people, oh man, how could this amount of people vote for a felon? Just quit. Go into a different line of work. And then to end this all off, we've got to finish with Cardi B. Now, for those of you who don't know who Cardi B is, why don't we give her a little bit of an introduction as far as who she is and what she decides to talk about on the internet. Keep y'all pussy on WAP, you know what I'm saying? A lot of you bitches got the damn dry ass pussy because y'all pH balance is off. And you want to know why? It's not because you're born with it. It's because y'all keep fucking these dirty ass And y'all bitches are shy to tell these that a dick is hot. You got to tell babe, yo, your dick's more like mustard, my You want to throw my pH balance off. Okay, so Kamala decided to have her get up on stage and do a speech for her after she puts that out on the internet. And then she comes out with this after she knows Kamala lost. Okay, so listen, I'm gonna let y'all know this right now, okay? So you little trumpets, like, y'all won, I, I know y'all happy, whatever the fuck, ain't nobody acting like bitter losers. However, y'all need to leave me the fuck alone because I got one more fucking cigarette in me before I start lighting your asses up, I. And that's where to the United States of motherfucking America. Yeah, yeah. Well, I see what you did there. It's kind of a play on words. You're gonna light people up. That can be taken a few different ways, but let me ask you, Cardi, just so we're on the same page here. What would happen if a high schooler said that into his camera while he's walking into school? If you guys don't stop, I'm just gonna light you up. He'd probably be arrested. He'd probably be investigated for threat of shooting people. That's probably not gonna happen to Cardi B because she's Cardi B. But Cardi, if I can just speak to you real quick, no one is scared of you. No one's intimidated by you. Nobody's impressed with you. Show a little class. Stop talking about your vagina on the internet. You wonder why Kamala didn't get that many votes? It's because people are tired of the trashy way that America has been handled for the past four years. Have a little class, have some family values. Be principled about good things in life. Do you think it's good for a kid to hear that? Oh mom, guess what I learned? I watched Cardi B on the internet talk about dicks and vaginas. So now I know, <laughs> ridiculous.